Hello again, everyone. It's a little crazy that it's already that bad time of year. It's fall here in Utah. The, the leaves are changing. It's getting colder. And I'm looking forward to not being freezing cold all winter, assuming that I'm getting back to Singapore. And so, um, but it's an exciting time. The beginning of any month is always exciting because it's like every day, right? It's a fresh start where you get to review and say, what happened last month? What did I do and what happened as a result? And then what am I gonna learn from that? What am I gonna do this month? And so it's not, it doesn't only happen every month or every year. It also happens every week and every day. But even still, it's something exciting. It's something to celebrate. And we are also excited today to learn about a topic that has been in all the news. It's been on everyone's minds for pretty much this entire year so far. And we've all spent nine months of learning and working and putting effort into helping our immune system be strong. Because we want to be safe, we want to be healthy, and also we don't want to get slowed down. I, I remember not too long ago when getting sick was more of an inconvenience than anything else. And even back then, people would spend a lot of money, a lot of time on making sure that their immune system was strong. And now it's become still an inconvenience, well, even more of an inconvenience than it ever was, but also sometimes a life and death matter for some people. And so this is a topic that has only gotten to be more important. And as we learn about it, we can only better help those in our lives that need that help. And so that's why we are asking our wonderful product trainer, Winda, to teach us even more about what we can do to be consistent and maintain our immune system strong long-term. And so on that note, we'll turn the time over to Winda and come around for a Q&A before we finish up. Yes, thank you, Sam. Good morning, everyone. I will share the screen. Okay, I hope everyone can see uh, my slides on the screen, yeah? And can hear my voice well. Just like Sam said just now, that having a good immune system is becoming more important. I'd like to emphasize this even more because I think until now, pandemic isn't over. Um, in some countries, it might be, yes, uh, we have been able to flatten the curve, but in other parts of uh, this world as well, some of the countries still not able to um, decrease the total number of people who are positive with COVID-19. So it's even more important and maybe this is as well as um, our opportunity to share better knowledge, to share better awareness to people among us, uh, to those who doesn't know about health, to those who doesn't understand about hygiene and everything that relates that we can do to suppress the number of people who are positive with COVID. This virus, it cannot live outside, but it can easily grow and spread inside the host or inside our body. Once they go into our body, they will straightly attack ourselves. They shoot their kind of um, information uh, inject their RNA, we call it, and then start to control our cells. Control them so our body, our own immune cells cannot control the cell growth itself. And 
eventually causing inflammation, causing damage to our cells and to our body. Once a single virus successful in infected our cell, they will start growing rapidly. And we may not be able to notice it in the beginning. Like this COVID, this coronavirus takes, uh, the fastest is um, around five days, right? So once they go into our cells, they will start to multiply very rapidly. And then uh, within a few days, it will cause some symptoms like fever, maybe uh, your joint will ache so much, or you have a raised temperature, coughing, have pulmonary distress, or um, not easy to breathe, having breath difficulties. This virus, I would say, is indestructible once they get into your body. So this is the shape of the coronavirus. Inside, it contains some information that will be able to get into our cells. And we don't want that to happen. The RNA shall not go into our cells because once it goes to our cells, our cell becomes a stranger cell. And a stranger cell is actually harmful for the other cells in our body. This virus now, uh, although we are finding a vaccine to cure it, actually is not a really total cure because this virus lives and multiply inside our cells, inside our body. If we'd like to uh, destroy this virus 100% from our body, it means that our body cells also die together with the virus. We don't want our body cells to die, of course, because we will die as well. And some of people might not uh, know that medicines may not be able to destroy this virus. Let's say antibiotics. There is no antibiotic that can cure virus, especially the coronavirus. So it is not a cure. What can we do to uh, protect ourselves from the virus is doing some of these um, measurements, health measurements and as well as um, make sure that our body have great immune systems. That's all we can do for now. Before we can find a vaccine or any, uh, any vaccines that might work with the coronavirus. When we look into World Health Organization data right now, it's as from 28th of September, total worldwide, there are 30, 3.2 million people in this world that has confirmed cases of COVID-19. And it has caused so much death. Maybe some of the countries, um, developing countries, a lot of them, and as well as the developed countries. And in Indonesia, I'd like to give you an example. Uh, in Indonesia, this case hasn't been able to go down or to decrease at all. From the first cases detected up to till now, there are more and more people get infected with the virus. Um, I'd like to appreciate the work of people and the government from Singapore, Malaysia, Brunei, and Australia who have done so well in flattening the curve. So hopefully Indonesia will be able to do so very soon. And what I find in interesting in Indonesia is that people with comorbidities, comorbidities mean uh, someone who has a chronic disease, one or two condition of chronic disease at the same time. Those who have comorbidities has increased risk of uh, getting COVID-19 and actually have also increased risk of surviving from the COVID-19. If you see there are top 
treat uh, disease or comorbidities that people with uh, positive COVID-19 have. First is hypertension, number two is diabetes, and number three is cardiovascular disease or heart disease. If you notice this top three disease, what came up uh, in your mind? They are actually metabolic syndrome. This hypertension because of high fat in your body. Diabetes type two, because of high sugar in your body, causing insulin resistance. Heart disease, fatty liver, that can lead to other diseases as well, such as cancer and dementia in older people. That's why these metabolic syndromes, uh, especially like dementia, when people have dementia, especially the elderly, it is really hard to them to survive from COVID-19. Now, how can we help to control the virus spread? These are the basic things that we can do. Always wearing masks, uh, washing hand regularly, every time you touch stuff, and especially when you touch food, wash hands, do a social distancing, having a good personal hygiene every day, showering, um, and then get a sufficient nourishment for your body, eating healthy food, getting a good nutrients for your health, uh, for the healthy cells. These are the basic things that we can do. If possible, we can also reverse this metabolic syndrome. Reversing here means that we try to be healthier so we don't have this kind of metabolic syndromes. And most importantly is to maintain our body, our cells with a healthy immune system. So this is immune system is the automatic system that helps our cells to recognize the stranger cells that goes into our body. Any strange materials, any strange things like bacteria, virus, or probably parasites. If we have a good immune system, our body will be able to recognize, to differentiate, and to eliminate these parasites, this bacteria, and as well as this virus. And congratulations as well for you who has been able to survive until now. It is not an easy job. It is a tough one to survive the pandemic. And I'm so happy that every one of you here who have joined today are healthy and you have managed to have a healthy life as well. So this, uh, this is a really good thing because with this, we can help other people too. And this is our time. This is our time to raise more awareness. Awareness to, ha uh, to have a healthy life. Uh, awareness about like the COVID disease. And also you can show what you do to other people. Like, look, hey, I'm still healthy. So in order to keep my body healthy, in order to keep my immune system is good, this is what I do. You can show to other people, you can share your experience. You can share uh, maybe uh, the foods you eat, the supplements you take, the lifestyle you have. Showing them can help also uh, raise their awareness. And it's good that if you could provide examples, let's say, uh, oh, I have a good breakfast. I have a regular meal time, or I do regular exercise. These are the examples that you can provide to other people, uh, to your friends, to your family, to everyone around you. 
and as well as a good opportunity for you because this is the time that you have opportunity to show what you have to show other people what they can also do to be healthy to have a better immune system and you have very great products to support you here. The Unicity Science team already developed so much products that you can have, you can take and you can share with everyone that can help support the healthy immune system. So I'd like to share you a few products here that may be uh, good to maintain the immune system. First one is Immunizen. Why are these uh, products good? There has been some research, clinical research, that uh, provide evidence. Immunism contain uh, a, an ingredient that called bovine colostrum. And this colostrum is a type of protein that helps with maintaining good respiratory system. People who take a uh, colostrum regularly can uh, reduce the, the incidence of the respiratory tract infection. So infection usually happens when you notice a flag or uh, there are a lot of mucus in your uh, respiratory system or you are coughing. So that's the kind of infections that people will have with the respiratory system. Another thing, there is a bovine lactoferrin in immune uh, immunizen. This bovine lactoferrin helps to support the immune system because it's a type of antioxidants. And antioxidant is a good thing for our cells. When our cells have good enough antioxidants in the body, we will be able to tackle the free radicals that can infect our body cells. So this is why immunism is good to support our immune system overall. The next great products that you can share or you can have every day is Native Legend Tea. It is a mixture of different ingredients. They are burdock root, sheep sorrel, slippery elm bark, and everything. These ingredients has been known very well in uh, TCM, the Chinese medicine, and has been used for a long time that it provides some of these features. For example, the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. What are these? Anti-inflammatory means when you have a uh, fever. So uh, fever is a first sign that your body is infected with something. A raised temperature in the body and we don't know where the infection is going on. But uh, when you have fever, usually you take medicine and the medicine will spread through your body, go into each cell of your body. So it helps with reducing the inflammatory. It has a um, feature for cleansing, purifying and detoxifying, means that it can help to take out some of the toxin from your body. And native legend tea also have a diet, uh, diuretic properties. It means that it can help to cleanse your system uh, by helping you to uh, urinate frequently so when you take native legend tea, I will suggest that you drink more. For an adult, usually uh, we have around two liters a day of water. But when you take supplements, I would suggest you can take up to three liters of uh, water a day. Another thing, um, a research that provides that um, native density might be good for you is that it has burdock root that has activity for to purify blood. 
if you can see on the abstract, there is a red square, a red rectangle in there. It says that it can detoxify your blood. So when you have burdock root, it's also a vegetable. Sometimes people cook it as well. Um, but um, not every country, not every place have this burdock root. Like in Indonesia, I cannot find it. It has a good property to detoxify blood, to clean our system, clean our blood. With a cleaner blood, it means that our body can easily take up more oxygen, our body can easily take up more nutrients, absorb it uh, better, and deliver it to our cells. And the blood also can take more toxins to, uh, to be uh, disposed from our body. So having a good blood, having a good body system actually can help with the overall immune. Next great product is also a chlorophyll. Uh, I think all university have this chlorophyll. It's uh, one of my favorite product that I take every day. And because it has a blood cleanse property. Let me explain further. The chlorophyll is actually a plant blood. So the role of chlorophyll in plant take up uh, the energy from the sun and then helps to transfer this energy, this nutrients into the cells of the plant to from its leaf, its branch up to its stem. And in human, we have what we call as hemoglobin. This is our blood. Our blood have similar function like the chlorophyll in plants. And if you see the diagram, actually the chlorophyll have similar structure with blood, with the human blood. What makes them different is the center. While chlorophyll have magnesium center in nature, human blood have iron center. See? They have similar structure, very similar structure. So when you take chlorophyll, it means that you have better function in your blood to take up more nutrients, to take up more oxygen because the chlorophyll is helping your blood to work even better. What is unique from the Unicity chlorophyll powder? That the center contains copper. We call it as sodium copper chlorophyllin. In the nature, the chlorophyll is in the form of magnesium uh, chlorophyll, but with our products in the form of sodium copper chlorophyllin. This type of chlorophyll is water soluble. So when we take the chlorophyll powder, dissolve it in water, and we drink it, the kind of chlorophyll will be easily absorbed by our body. So this is the uniqueness of unicytic chlorophyll powder. Next great products that is good as well for your immune system is Bio-C. It is 300 grams of vitamin C and we have uh, known it's widely known that uh, vitamin C helps with immune system. This is a really great product. Uh, I like to have vitamin C as well. I will usually take around 500 grams a day. The thing is with Unicity uh, Bio-C, it has several different forms that are very unique. And each form of this uh, vitamin C is different. And they also metabolize differently in our body. Most of the vitamin C you have or you buy from the store, from the pharmacies, they are usually contain only one type of vitamin C. 
mostly in ascorbic acid. So what makes Unicity Bio C more unique is the type of vitamin C that it contains. This different type provides us with a different metabolism, so we can use it better. It provides better bioavailability. It means that it can be absorbed better. Let's say you have 300 milligrams or one caps of bio C. The, uh, those whole caps will dissolve in our body and will be absorbed very uh, easily by our system because it has a scorbyl palmitate form, which is the fat soluble form of vitamin C. It has the ascorbic acid form, which is the water soluble of vitamin C. We have fat, we have water, so we can absorb those vitamin C very well. And it has also the magnesium calcium ascorbate form that is actually safe for people who have gastric problems. It will not cause any raise of acid in your stomach. And it has also a blend of citrus bioflavonoids, which is a good form of antioxidants. These all are uh, very scientific. Uh, you don't need to remember all of this, but uh, you know that the bio C is unique because it has different forms of vitamin C, different from the store-bought ones. And those, it has better bioavailability or it can be absorbed better by our body. The last one I'd like to share is Daily Produce 24. This is a mixture of 24 kinds of fruits and vegetables. Imagine that you have to eat healthily every day. Fine if you have already eat healthily, but you have to have 24 kinds of plants coming into your system every day. I think that's a tough one. With Daily Produce 24, you have all the combinations, all the antioxidants, the vitamins, the minerals, what we call as phytochemicals, that you can easily have in capsules. So at least when you have some fruits, some vegetables, and it's not a complete one, it may not be providing the, all those kind of phytochemicals that you need, you add it with some daily produce 24. And this will help our body to get enough nutrients that they need for the metabolism. And this is made of um, natural ingredients with less residues because it's more organic ingredients. So it is still a good option, especially for those who doesn't like to eat vegetables or doesn't like to eat fruits. I will, I will still suggest you to have vegetables and fruits every day because they are good not only for their phytochemicals, but also for the fibers. So have a balanced diet, a balanced meal every time. You have your carbohydrate source, you have your protein source, and also don't forget to have your fiber source. All of these nutrients, they have different function in your body. Uh, they also be needed every day because not every vitamins, not every minerals can be stored in our body, especially that uh, the minerals that cannot be uh, dissolved in fat. So there are three, uh, four types of vitamins that can be dissolved in fat. There are fat soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, D, E, and K. They can be stored in your body, in your fat cells, but the rest, they are not, uh, they cannot be stored in your fat cells. So you have to have this every day to make sure that your cells get enough vitamins, get enough nutrients, get enough minerals. So it is something that uh, our body cannot produce. So we need to have this from the other sources like the food we eat. I like to say, uh, I like to put this um, words because I know everyone is in different uh, kind of situation. Uh, this is a difficult time for all of us, but I hope you see the positive thing from this. This could be your opportunity. 
like I said before, this is your opportunity to raise better awareness to people around you. This is the opportunity to share your knowledge, to share your lifestyle maybe, to share with other people how you can survive this pandemic so far. And this is also maybe a business opportunity for you with products that you already take, with the unicity products that you already have everything to support you so i hope that you you can see a, a bit of positive light from this enemy and i hope that you are all still healthy still safe and even better you are still able to uh, share with other people what you've been doing it is not a very hard task to share what you've been doing because now we have so much uh, social media, we have so much apps in our phones that we can do, uh, that we can use to share what we've been doing. Let's say someone who has Instagram, just take a picture of what they've been eating or what they've been doing, maybe exercising and share what sort of products that you take, what supplements that you have, you have WhatsApp, you have WhatsApp groups or Telegram groups, anything that um, can help you with letting other people know, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm surviving the pandemic. I'm healthy. And if you want to know more that I'm healthy, I can share with you what I do. You can also have uh, a chat with your friends. Yeah, not everyone can go outside for now. So you still can have a chat with your friends um, just to manage your stress because of isolation, because of a lack of mobility. Yeah. And these are the things that we can do for now, I guess. Um, hopefully soon we'll be able to back to normal again. And if you still have any questions, you have any difficulties, uh, please contact us in, in our emails here. And I think that's for now. You can start with um, sharing with your friends the knowledge that you have. Uh, don't forget to raise their awareness. And it's okay to be uh, very talkative when you have uh, things that you can share. You have to remind them to be healthy and I hope you also do all of these things to prevent yourself from getting any kinds of disease. Thank you. If you have any questions, please you can type it on a chat. Thank you very much, Winda. Thank you for sharing that knowledge with us and and teaching us about the different resources that we have. Something that has always been a very main part of what we do at Unicity is the ability to bring hope to other people. And the times where hope is most needed are when times are, are the worst. And for a lot of people, that's now. And so as you are able to take care of yourself, then you are able to be that beacon of hope for other people. And you can do it in very subtle ways or very clear ways. But the key is that we never want to let our circumstances dictate how we feel. And so don't let what's going on in the world around you that's outside of your control decide what you do with your life. It might impact it, but it doesn't decide it. And I know that that's a lesson that all 8 billion people in the world are learning right now with the pandemic. And I think in the US, we're getting an, an extra reminder of that with our presidential election between two candidates that <laughs> neither of them are very ideal, to put it plainly. But it, even still, right, we need to remember that, well, this is up to us. This is, is, we each have our own life and we are in charge of our own thoughts and our own decisions. And so being a part of Unicity, we are the ones that should be that beacon of hope for others. Now, 
we still want to see if there's some questions that Winda can help us answer. And so now is the time where if you have any questions, especially related to this topic, um, let's try and keep it focused on the topic that Winda has been covering today. But if you have those questions, now is the time to send them in and we'll let Winda teach us a little more. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm not sure if it's from me. Uh, no, I don't have any WhatsApp on. Yeah, not mine. Well, so far it looks like there's no questions coming in. Okay. Um, maybe you are, you're just too good at teaching today answer the questions before they're even asked. Um, so as we go on, we do want to say that, oh, I, I see that Ying Hai has sent in a question about the BioC not being available there in Indonesia. And this has been a product that has been in such high demand that it's been incredibly hard to keep it on the shelves and to bring up production right between countries everywhere in the world that are requiring it or requesting it um but winda can definitely talk to us about what are good alternative options for indonesia when they can't get bio c right away um there are also options with having a good nutrients from the food that we have let's say for vitamin c we can take citrus fruits lemon or oranges or pomelo those kind of fruits have good vitamin c amount uh, although it's not enough and in daily produce 24 we also have some uh, ingredients that contains good amount of vitamin c so if you don't have bio c or you cannot get bio c you can take daily produce 24 uh, having a good uh, citrus fruits intake every day that that should help as well. And um, uh, for a people, uh, for a person with autoimmune disease, uh, this is a tricky disease because we don't know what's what is went wrong with the system with the cells inside their body. People with autoimmune disease, I would suggest to uh, provide them with good amount of antioxidants. Um, we have, I think, lots of products that contains good antioxidants. Uh, some of them uh, in the presentation, they are native legend tea. Daily produce also uh, contain good antioxidant and bio C. Other products, probably uh, red clover. And this uh, another one is ubiquinol CoQ10, might also help with regulating the system, the cell system in the body, uh, because I think uh, there has been a clinical studies about the CoQ10 enzymes. It actually uh, helps with uh, regulating the immune response in the body. So that's why they call it as genomeceutical products. Um, yeah, I, I will suggest ubiquinol CoQ10 could be uh, supplemented for this person and products that are high in antioxidants. Um, vitamin C in Bios Life C. Um, I'm not sure if Bios Life C have a significant amount of vitamin C. Bios Life C contain uh, a lot of vitamin Bs that I know, and also a lot of fibers in it. So uh, Bios Life C uh, is different from the vitamin C source. And I think it's not enough to take, uh, to have vitamin C only from Bios Life C. Yeah. Okay. How uh, to use the BIOC immunization NDP24. 
um, we can spread it throughout the day. For example, uh, in the morning, before we eat anything, we take uh, immunizin. Uh, I will take uh, two in the morning, two in the evening. So in the morning, before we eat, uh, let's have two cups of immunizin. And then maybe a one, uh, one hour later, after we have our meal, take the daily produce uh, 24. Uh, I will suggest to have one capsule of vegetable and one capsule of fruits so we can spread the nutrients throughout the days. And after we have lunch, we can take the bio C all together with your lunch. And in the evening, uh, just uh, before you sleep, you can have immunization and daily produce 24 together. For adult, the requirement of vitamin C that we need is around uh, 500 milligrams and maximum is 1000 milligrams. So when you take a good uh, healthy fruit, let's say you have enough uh, fruits, the citrusy fruits or green leafy vegetables plus the bio C, you already have enough vitamin C for your body. Great, thank you very much, Winda. And out of curiosity, I was just looking up to see how much vitamin C BioSlife C actually contains. And it's true, it, it's not going to be enough to get you that 500 milligrams, but it does still give you a 45 milligram boost each time you take it. And so it is always nice when there's other products that, right, that's not at all the purpose of BioSlife C. In fact, BioSlife C might make a much bigger impact by helping with our metabolic health. And that lowers our risk dramatically. Um, but at the same time, it's also giving us that small boost of, of vitamin C, which is always great. Um, but like always, if we weren't able to answer all of the questions, then you know where to reach us. I hope you know by now. We've done enough of these that hopefully you're very able to reach out and contact your local product trainer, use them, please take advantage of having them available. And I also want to say right before we finish to be sure to make it to our next week's Simba training. This is going to be a special event where we're having Unicity's chief experience officer come and speak to us, Colette Dahl, will be speaking to us on how each of us can share our amazing products through social media. And it's a topic that is, has a lot more to it than you first think. And she is someone that has a lot of experience, a lot of expertise in doing this. So it'll be a very interesting topic to learn about. Um, and I hope to see all of you and, and many more there next week. But thank you again, Winda. Thank you to all of you for being here with us. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>